today we're gonna do an unboxing of these racks for the pressure pot if you're doing resin casting or things of that nature so this is how it came boxed up it came with this little sticker it's pretty secured you know so I guess after I open it I have to uh, I guess I gotta assemble this so let's turn off with this I'm not going to take the sticker off, actually. I'm just going to rip the whole box into pieces. And oh, here we go. So it comes with one, two, three plates, and a couple of these. Oh, I just got an instruction manual. Okay, well, that's cool. Let me just tuck that to the side. And I guess now we gotta build this. Maybe I should get this back actually. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna build this and then I'll get back to this. So I finally figured this out. I had to take a nap and sleep because for some reason last night was just not it. So uh, today I woke up and I tried it. Uh, I put it together and everything works pretty good. So as long as your IQ is above 80, you should be able to put this together. Mine's is a 79 apparently. Uh, quick little tip so you guys can you know make this a lot quicker than I did. Don't make the same mistakes that I did. It comes with these little squares. Let me see. So it comes with these little squares. See right here? It comes with this square and this little thing here. These squares, I thought they meant nothing. Apparently, they're actually really important because without them, this thing, these little shelves, they just don't balance. So they go in through here, one there, one there, and one over there. Make sure you put them in because if you don't, it's gonna be a problem and you know, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but then you just waste more time trying to take the whole thing apart to put it back together. Don't be like me. I actually really like this. It's, um, it's actually a lot cheaper than other things out there because I was looking for like a metal one and man, that thing was, the price was not worth it. And then I was, I was actually very suspect about this, but looking at it, I think this is actually gonna be perfect. You can actually fit a mold. I mean, you don't have to use it from, for dices because like you got this mold here. It's, um, it's a decent size and it actually fits perfect. It fits in this shelf, it fits in the bottom shelf, and obviously it fits on the top. If you have a bigger mold, you can always just take this shelf off and then you'll have, boom, you'll have more room right there. Or you could just put it on the top and you obviously have more room. As you can see, you could probably fit four in each shelf. So you have 12, or you could really put two to a shelf, you could put three to a shelf, or I mean to a, to a square, and you could probably fit like, honestly, you could probably fit like 50 of these molds in here. So if volume is your game, this is it. I honestly, I actually tried using just one last night, and it actually worked pretty good. So I don't, I mean, I was skeptical about the wood, but this, this is fine, this is great. You know, these things right here, this is where they come, this is where the little squares are in. You kinda gotta like pick these out and you know, you just put these here, it comes with the next one. And then the little squares here. And again, this, these little squares, they're important. Make sure you put them in. Also, uh, the shelves have different dimensions on the lines, like you'll see it if you do choose to buy it. Uh, they go in through the top, so the the largest one goes in, then the second largest, then the third largest. They have like lines over here, you just can't see them because they're being covered by uh, the wood right here that's going through it. But anyways, this is actually awesome. I actually really like this.